I'm over here in the assembly area now and I have been working this week my helper hasn't been able to work all week and uh, probably won't work next week either so I, I only have him a few hours a week if I'm lucky all this stuff just has to be done when I have time to do it what I've been working on is getting these bins set up over here with the different parts that we 3D print. There's also a duplicate bin over on the other side in the print room that has the same parts in it. And that's where we put them when they come off the printers. And then as I get low over here, like I am on this USB camera holder I'll go over there and get some out of the bin over there bring them over here if there aren't very many over there then I know I better print some more but this is basically the base matter of fact I think I talked in another video but we have changed the base and it's now a new reinforced much stronger base for the legs that come out and this one's going to work really good. So I have a bin with those. Then I actually have the little feet here that we print that go on the rods that make up the feet of that table mount. Then we have the rod end for the end that goes into the base. Then, of course, we have a rod. And then we have these, which are the devices that we use they adjust the angle positions for the helping hand, the table mount. Of course, this is a vertical piece that comes with the kit for straight vertical rigid mount, which pretty much prevents hardly any movement. And then these little things here are just the little clips that we 3D print to hold the wire to the main shaft or rod going up to the helping hand head and then this is the other end of the rod which is the female end and it attaches to the power head of the helping hand which is this piece right here and then these are the uh, cover plates they go on this power head. These are the locking mechanisms that go on top of this that lock the different attachments into position. Then we have some of the attachments which is this is just a blank filler. This is a three port adapter that has the three threaded holes for the flex arms to thread into. And then coming down here, we have the standard extension arm three-port adapter. And this extension arm is used to attach things to it, like the round tool holder for the Dremel tools and so forth. Then we have a flat extension holder, which is just comes straight out, which also holds different accessories like the round tool holder. We have the media adapter. This goes in the top position and it holds the holders for cell phones and tablets and so forth. And it also has a couple of ports here where you can put the flex arms in. And this one over here, this is for the LED floodlight, which is our bright light that goes on as an attachment. I uh, have a few flex arm LEDs here and this is the holder for the microscope. This is the tall part which goes with the microscope and here are a few more flex arm LEDs. This is a laser holder and these are the brackets 
for the large magnifier. This is actually one of the microscope base pieces in orange and here's one in white. We're still doing some work on that. This is one of the adapters for the vice clamp in orange and in black. These parts are all basically the 3D printed parts that come over from the other side. Then they'll go through assembly and assembly for this part is basically putting an adjustment screw in here that will tighten down. For this one's putting a screw in. It's quarter inch 20 screw to adapt to things. These both get a, a nut inset in one side and a screw put in them. Some of them don't require much assembly. These parts do. You see there are two little clamps here that hold the slides for the microscope and they go in there. If you come over here you can see these are some of the base units that haven't been assembled. These are some of the flood LED lights here. And up on top we'll have flex arm clamps, alligator plastic flex arms. And uh, these right here are the flex arm USB cameras. And down in the bottom you have more of the LED flex arm lights there. And we have the table mount, but we also have the scissors arm boom mounts. And these are the scissors arm with the connectors and the power run through them. So they're ready to go. And there are just a lot of other parts down here. You can see in here we have some semi-assembled microscope holders with power heads and so forth. So, as we get to different stages of assembly, I keep saying we like I've got a mouse in the, my pocket, but as I get to different stages of assembly, I try to segregate these things and keep them together so that when I do need the parts, I know where to go to find the basic parts for assembly. I know where the ones are that are semi-assembled, and I know where the ones are located that are already assembled. And then in the room next door, they go back over there, and I put them in boxes. This is about our standard size box here for the helping hand 15-piece starter set and the 10-piece starter set. So the 15-piece set have several boxes of those next door where all of the pieces, the power heads and feet, these arms, rod arms and everything, everything's already put together and in the box and ready to go. They sit over there on tables and the boxes are open because when we go to ship them, the last thing we do is a final inspection to make sure everything's there and then put the packing list inside the box before we seal it up. And the packing list has the customer's information, order information and everything. And we verify that everything's in there that they ordered because sometimes somebody will order a 15 piece set and add a second flex arm LED light. In a case like that, we'll just put it in the box with the 15 piece set and ship it that way, but it will be on our packing list. So that's part of what we do. I've got to quit saying we. That's part of what I do. And just trying to keep up with all of that, it's a lot to keep up with. Get a little frustrated sometimes because I work on these things. I hate to come down here and plan on doing something and then find that I have something I have to work on or I start working on something and get tied up on it. And next thing I know, two or three hours have passed 
and I no longer have time to accomplish the task that I had planned for that day. I guess the good news is that I finally completed all of my orders for the special and custom parts and so forth that I've been printing for other companies and all of those have been shipped and right now I'm not taking on anything else until I get a better handle on the products that I have here that I'm trying to get on the website. Maybe it was a mistake that I took those on but they did add to the cash flow. A lot of people out there, a lot of you comment and say, are you making money yet? Now I can say, yeah, I'm, I'm making money, but I'm not really making it where I want to be making it. From the beginning, the goal was to get these products and to get the helping hand here and its different attachments on the market and get those selling. I'm making an effort to get some of these other parts, some of the newer parts especially, printed, assembled, getting them to my new marketing person so they can take photographs of them to get better pictures of the products and pictures that show them being used in different ways so that it will help explain how they can be used. I know in a lot of my videos I'll be working here and I'll show you how I'm using the Dremel tool attachment or the clamps or the camera attachment or something else to do some of the jobs. Obviously I've got plenty of helping hands over here. I've got a lot that are like these right here. This is a good helping hand, but I'll never sell it because, for one thing, the base is the old model base and I'm not shipping anything but the new reinforced ones. And also, the uh, rod end down here is the weaker rod end that can break under extreme stress. But other than that, the power head and everything looks fine. I'll keep these parts and I'll throw one together in whatever configuration I need. So until the next time, happy printing from New Tech Inventors.